rest of the running back room so far? I mean, it's been going good. I mean, me and the guys were just competing for a spot. I mean, everybody loves competition because competition brings out the best in all of us. Kind of saw that first day that we were able to watch that you just had a little bit more bounce, a little bit more pep to you. Is it just being healthy or is there more to it than that? <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Just being healthy and JV and his squad and the training staff and them just getting me back right, getting back ready for another year. Just go out and have fun and compete, do what I love to do. Physically, are you about as close as you were, you know, your freshman year when you, when you were able to do things? Uh, yes, sir. I'll say I'm even, even better now just because my body's back fully 100. I don't really got to worry about my knee issue anymore because they just stayed on top of that with the rehab. How much of a, just a weight off your shoulders is that, Josh, to not have to worry? Anymore? Man, just a lot because, you know, you can't really do what you got to do whenever you're out there on the field, whenever you have to consistently worry about the injury. I mean, it was bothering me a little bit, but now everything just feels 100 and my body is just great. What kind of opportunity exists? Chase obviously moving on. What kind of opportunity exists for you guys in that room? I really say just everybody just getting a chance to just go out and just compete for the spot. I mean, that's really what it's about at the end of the day. Everybody just wants the spot, so we're just going to all just have fun while doing it. You said going through what you did last year, what were the biggest things maybe you learned about yourself and having to go through that recovery process? I would really say adversity because whenever I got hurt, I mean, that was my first time really like just being like hurt like that, having to like sit out. Like weeks after weeks after weeks and nothing. Oh, I mean, that can just sit up on you. And then just Mr. Jason just keeping me in the right state of mind about my injury. So really, that's all that was. Your freshman year, like you could claim you know, the title as the biggest running back in the room, but now that it was Jordan and <laughs> Jordan Jayden and Caden. both. Just what's that? I mean, what's it like having like so many big backs like that? Man, it's fun. I mean, just watching them two guys just go there each and every day. I mean, you can really just learn a lot. I mean, we all kind of play the same, but we all got, like, different type of calibers, type of things that we bring to the table in the running back room. Anything in particular you picked up from those two guys? I mean, they're just hard to bring down. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a lot of running back coming at you. What has Coach Ward brought to the room? Coach Ward, something that he's brought to the room is just us just being detailed about each and everything that we have to do each and every single day about the plays and also just being just a better person in the room. He always got good energy. He brings energy to the room every day. So I try to just pick up off of him. Being back this spring, kind of feeling 100% being able to do what you kind of want to do. What does that kind of feel like after a lot of other days? I mean, my body just feels great. I mean, just being able to just make them certain type of cuts that I want to now. Really just like, kind of just like my freshman year. Really just been able to do what I need to do for the team. You and Reggie are kind of two different running styles, two different body types. How do, how do you guys complement each other, do you think? I'll say, me and Reggie, I mean, we just gonna do our thing at the end of the day. I mean, Reggie is a great running back. And I mean, I really learned a lot from Reggie off the off season until now in the spring. So. In hindsight, did last year, did you feel like you might have come back too soon? something about the rehab process if you ever have to go through it again? Uh, I want to really say I came back too fast, but I mean, I was stayed on track, Coach B, and I trust him throughout the whole process. So I, mean, I don't really back on that too fast. It seems like there's going to be, like Coach Lonnie had talked about, obviously Chase had all the carry, a lot of carries and yards, but he said that ideally maybe it sounds like it could be more spread out among a few running backs. Do you like that idea to, to have maybe two Possibly three guys kind of carrying that. Uh, yes, sir. Just having that depth in the running back room like that, that's a great thing to have because you can't just do it with just one guy. I mean, Chase, he did his thing last year, yeah. taking the workload every game for us, and he did it. But I mean, just having that depth in the running back room, I mean, you can really do a lot with it. He did, good. He did a good job catching passes, too. All right, how are you there? Are you pretty good? Uh, my, hands, my hands are very solid. I mean, I'll say I got some nice hands. Do you like doing that? Sir? Do you like doing that? Do you like catching passes? Oh, uh, yes, sir. I don't really say, I got good hands. I, mean, I don't know if y'all seen it. I don't really feel where I can, I can you catch. Really, you really got Were you as excited about going to that Wyoming game last year, that opener, as, as everybody else was? It seemed like Coach B was really excited about <laughs> yes, sir. the season you could have, and then you just kind of it kind of fell for you. Yeah, I mean, things didn't really go out as planned. I mean, the first game, I was so amped up and just hyped, just ready to get back out on the field with the guys. 
and then my senior bump, I miss them boys so much. You, you seem like you were having a really good fall up to that point in time. Do you have your momentum? Yes, sir, but I mean, it was just a minor setback for a major comeback. Can year two with Coach Lonnie, how, how can that benefit you guys? I mean, just knowing his concepts about the plays. I mean, Coach Lonnie is a great coach, and he just brings everything to the table that you want in the OC, just preparing us just for going out, performing each and every play. As a running back, what do you like about his offense? I'll really say just how spread out it is. I mean, my freshman year, I'll really say, like, we was, like, running into, like, a seven-man, eight-man box. But now with Coach Lenny, I mean, you got different variations of everything in the passing concepts and in the run concepts. Is there something specific you learned from Chase? You know, Reggie kind of said, I learned how to be a pro. Like, while I was yeah. here, is it, what, what did you take away from the experience of playing with Just how Chase just approached everything each and every day. I mean, you'll see him come up here super early, go into the rehab room. After the rehab room, he'll just go to his locker. Always had their headphones because he liked his music. And just the way how he just approached each and every day at practice. I mean, you'll just see him go out there early, working on cuts each and every day. And that's just something I just took away from his game.